I grew up in Baguio City where I went to a Christian school. There were values instilled in us. We had chapel time. There was scripture memorization. We had worship nights and got together in small groups to learn about Jesus. I truly believe that Jesus died for our sins and that he sacrificed so much for us. I started to play serious basketball in high school. Moving from Baguio, I had a very laid back lifestyle. It was just sports, school, and family. When I got to Manila, I was introduced to a very different culture. I saw a world that is absolutely enticing and tempting. The fame, the glory, the bad things one could do with money and power. And I told myself, I wouldn't want to conform to that kind of world because it is temporal. I believed in all the things I've learned about Jesus, and so I stood my ground and formed my convictions. People find it hard to believe that a life without compromise is possible in the state of life that I was in. But God has been faithful in keeping me away from falling horribly in those days. One thing I can say of my character is that I chose to be a leader the right way instead of being easily swayed into doing things I would regret. To be able to play this long in the league, to be able to provide for my family, invest in businesses, and even to have this huge following in social media. Who would have thought that in a span of over two years, we would have a total following of almost 10 million people in social media, making our family an influencer in today's culture. In a time where divorce, unfaithfulness, broken families, and lesser time spent with family, these are seen everywhere. And we chose to use this powerful tool, social media, to show that if you center your marriage and your family around Jesus, then you will experience God's grace and love like you've never experienced before. These are all wonderful blessings that I know is only possible by the grace of God. I didn't need to compromise because I know God honors those who follow Him wholeheartedly. Obeying God's Word has blessed me enough that I took these values into a wonderful marriage with my wife, Cheska. My actions, my commitments, and vows are not only accountable to her, but more so to my Lord. I love and respect my wife, but I fear the Lord more. I think of my kids as tremendous blessings, and I find that I am, because of what I know about God, can be the best father and example for them. I enjoy spending time with them, teaching them Bible stories, enforcing discipline if needed, and setting a good example for them to follow as they are growing up. Love is spelled T-I-M-E for children. That's why I want to make sure that my time with them never goes to waste. Today, more than desiring to be known as a great basketball player, God has placed in my heart a greater desire to be a good husband and father and to be an example to those who follow our family. This is my legacy and it goes hand in hand with my relationship in Christ. I am passionate for the importance of relationships, of good marriages, and of tightly knitted families. I am not perfect and I need His grace daily. But I'm thankful that He has given me and my family the opportunity to inspire others and lead them to Christ. He definitely can be faithful to you and your family as well.